Hey guys, so today I really want to talk about how you know you're a heart chakra person. I know a lot of you guys who watch my videos are probably heart chakra people and maybe just don't know it. A heart chakra person is someone who operates mainly from their heart chakra and these people tend to be intuitives, impasse, sensitive, and creative people. They also tend to have a predominantly green aura. I am a heart chakra person myself so I know the struggle and I know how lonely and alienating it can be when you you have a lot of love for the world and other people but it's very rare that the world shows you that same love and actually a lot of the time because you are a heart chakra person people actually take advantage of you because they see you as weak in the society or a pushover so these are some of the signs that you are a heart chakra person you radiate from your heart chakra you operate from your heart chakra and you're someone who is motivated mainly by your heart chakra so the first sign you're a heart chakra person is there's always a hint of sadness that you carry around inside of you. Even when you're happy, even when everything is good, even when your life is going according to plan, you always carry a burden of sadness. And the reason for this is, is because heart chakra people are very idolistic and because of that they are frequently let down. Oop, we just got a ring from my phone and from what I hear from you guys that's a message from spirit it's like spirit giving me an exclamation point so I'm glad I'm on the right track heart chakra people even though they're some of the most kindest loving nicest people they're also some of the saddest people because the reason why they go out of their way so much to show others love and show others kindness and to be nice to others is because they know how bad it feels to feel bad they know how much it hurts to be hurt and because they know that pain, heart chakra people will go out of their way to show other people love and politeness and appreciation because heart chakra people feel pain, they feel love so deeply. People who radiate from their heart chakra feel all of the emotions magnified and because of that they know how bad it feels to be low so they will purposely go out of their way to make sure others never feel as low as they do. The second sign you're a heart chakra person is you're probably really really creative. Heart chakra people are really creative because they feel things so deeply and because of that their creativity is extremely fueled. So heart chakra people are typically writers, poets, musicians, painters, artists, YouTubers. They need, they have the need to create beauty into the world because the heart chakra relates to beauty. Heart chakra people very likely had a rough childhood or they felt like they didn't fit in when they were children or they felt Felt like their childhood wasn't as it should have been or it was really disappointing or their childhood was very sad and the reason why heart chakra people tend to have bad childhoods or not even bad but just like sad childhoods or disappointing childhoods is because heart chakra people are frequently created from pain the reason why they develop all of that empathy and all of that need to make things beautiful is because they typically come from a place where they didn't feel loved as a child or they didn't feel supported Supported, or they didn't feel like they were loved enough as a child and because of that they turned into heart chakra adults who go out of their way to show love to other people because they know what it's like to not feel that love as a child. Another sign of a heart chakra person is heart chakra people can be very trusting of other people almost to the point of naivety. So heart chakra people like to see the best in others. They don't like to see the ugly. So there might be someone that everyone hates and might be an underdog that everyone thinks is a bad person and a heart chakra person will be rooting for that underdog. The heart chakra person will be standing up for that underdog because the heart chakra person doesn't like to see the ugly sides of people. They prefer to see the best sides of others. So you'll find heart chakra people giving others the benefit of the doubt even if it's risky or dangerous. So you'll find heart chakra people who frequently get in relationships with narcissists because like I said heart chakra people feel the need to put beauty into the world and fix things with harmony so they'll typically get in relationships with narcissists or energy vampires because they can see the good in the narcissist or the good in the energy vampire and they think they can fix them or bring the good out because like I said a heart chakra person especially earlier on in life is very very 
naive, overly trusting, overly idolistic, and maybe tries to see good in people that may not even be there. So because of that, heart chakra people are frequently vulnerable to hurt and getting taken advantage of because they almost just refuse to see the bad sides of other people. Now that leads me to my next point is heart chakra people, like I said earlier, are frequently found standing up for the underdog. Heart chakra people have a huge compassion for those who are outcasted, those who are shamed by everyone else, for those who are left out and ostracized, because like I said, heart chakra people can empathize in some way to that, because probably as a child they felt that way, and they also feel things so deeply. So you'll find a heart chakra person standing up for someone that everyone else is ostracized. Heart chakra people are typically kind of not cautious when it comes to relationships either. Heart chakra people have a wide open heart chakra chakra, so they tend to think with their feelings. So even though something might not be practical or might not be well thought out, if a heart chakra person is in love and they're feeling all of these emotions, a heart chakra person is going to dive straight in and not care about the consequences and expose their heart and just fall head first because that's how a heart chakra person is. Even though being a heart chakra person is really awesome in a lot of ways and comes with a lot of gifts, it also comes with a lot of vulnerabilities and heart chakra people tend to be very vulnerable when it comes to their personal relationships, especially romantic relationships, and they tend to not be very good at guarding their heart because they tend to just go in with naivety, expecting the best because like I said, heart chakra people are idolistic. You might notice that as a heart chakra person, you also frequently get taken advantage of by other people or overpowered by other people or walked on by other people, and this goes with all all points of your life. So it could be in the workplace, it could be at school or with your friends. As a heart chakra person, you might feel like you're constantly disrespected, like other people always try to talk over you or other people try to dominate you or other people try to tell you what to do or people in your life underestimate you. And that's because as someone who radiates from their heart chakra, you're radiating unconditional love, you radiate beauty, creativity, you radiate a lot of genuinity. And because of that, because of that need to be neutral, because of that need to just be kind to everyone and sort of just create balance and harmony wherever you go. People in this society, sadly, see that as a weakness or see you as being slow or incapable. So you might notice that you frequently feel disrespected. And that is because as a heart chakra person, you're somebody who wants balance and harmony. You don't want to cause chaos. You don't want to dominate others. You don't want to impose your will on others. You just want everything to be cool and you want to be nice. You want a utopian society where everyone is equal and we're all nice to each other. And because of that, in this dog-eat-dog -dog world, you're frequently seen as someone who is incapable, easily walked all over, or a lot of the times disrespected. And I don't mean to be negative, guys. And I hate that sometimes about, you know, spirituality. It's like, oh, don't say anything negative. But guys, we live in this world. We live in this 3D world. There is a negative side. And it's very important to be aware of these side so you can fix yourself, fix how you perceive the world so you can become a better heart chakra person. I'm not telling you to succumb to this and be a victim, not at all. What I'm saying is be aware of it so you can fix this about yourself because as a heart chakra person, it's very important to create some sort of boundary to your heart because if you don't, you are so receptible to a lot of harmful energies and it's very important as a heart chakra person to learn how to stand up for yourself and learn how to assert yourself and learn how to set boundaries. Heart chakra people also, like I said, they radiate from the heart chakra, so they like beauty. So heart chakra people tend to have their own unique style. They tend to have their own unique spin on the way that they dress or wear their hair. They have this unique quirkiness about them because like I said, they're extremely artistic and expressive. And heart chakra people love visual beauty. They love inner beauty and they love visual beauty. So at a heart chakra person's house, you'll find that their room is very decorated to suit them. You'll find that their room is their safe spot. You'll find that the way they dress is very unique and aesthetically pleasing because heart chakra people like to make their surroundings beautiful. Heart chakra people also have a really hard time saying no. So if you come up to a heart chakra 
person and ask them for a favor, it is very hard for them to say, no, I can't do that because heart chakra people always want to make everyone happy. I guess some people would call it people pleasing, but that's why it's very important if you're a heart chakra per person to develop those boundaries. Also, heart chakra people tend to like to stay at home because they like to be somewhere safe and comfortable and they're normally very empathetic. So if they're around other people, they can pick up others' energies and it can be very draining for a heart chakra person. Heart chakra people tend to be very introverted because they care so much, they feel so much, and they pick up so much that it's very emotionally draining to be out in public. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're someone who's a heart chakra person, I hope you feel a little more understood and maybe understand why you are the way you are and it's because you're a heart chakra person. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.